Hey everybody, Mark Johnson here, founder and creative director of Able Ape Studios, back again with another vlog. Today's vlog is number 42, and right off the top, I just want to hope everyone is having a positive and productive start to their week. Um, you know, as as it is, Thanksgiving is just next week, and um, the holiday season uh, will be in full stream, and the distractions will be many um, so I'm trying to get a lot of things done this week so that I can go into next week and be a little freer um, with my time and be able to spend it with friends and family so that's just kind of where I'm at what I'm doing is share with you today is something a little bit different than I usually share um, on my blog but it's something that's just kind of been well obviously in the news but I think at the same time kind of been something I've been a story I've been following for a while um, and what just happened is uh, this past Saturday, um, okay, put it this way, this past Saturday, if you don't know who Colin Kaepernick is, um, he was the 49er football player who was kneeling during the uh, national anthem um, like some three years, three, four years ago. Um, he's been out of the league since then, and um, he's trying to get back in, you know, put, put it simply. Um, and what they did, or the NFL, gave him an opportunity for a workout this past Saturday. And the reason I'm talking about this um, is because, you know, like I said, I've been following this story, but it wasn't just as simple as just having to work out. You know, couldn't just go that simple, right? Um, so the worker was scheduled to be in Atlanta, um, at the Atlanta Dome, um, and there was supposed to be like 24, 25, as I'm following the story, um, scouts from different teams in the league that were supposed to be there. Um, say an hour before the scheduled workout, Colin Kaepernick and his camp uh, decides to reschedule it to another football field 50 to 60 miles away um, on a high school campus. And so they even live streamed it. So I, got, I watched the live stream. And so he's on a field, he's on a football field with some of his um, either, you know, people from his camp who are you know, receivers, so he's throwing the ball. And I don't actually know what the whole point of this um, workout was. I mean, my, my belief was that it was to show that he still had the skills and the ability to play in the NFL and hopefully have interest or gain interest from um, other uh, teams in, in the league. You know, they need a quarterback or need a backup quarterback, whatever the case. And so, you know, they rescheduled it somewhere else. Um, it was live streamed. Um, and as I'm listening to some of the stories that came out since then, uh, what had happened is Kaepernick and his camp decided to not sign a waiver uh, because it had certain, certain um, words, certain things that they didn't want to be a part of. And so they decided not to sign it. The, the workout does not go down. He scheduled it somewhere else. You know, as things coming out about it, um, you know, to do a workout on a high school football field, there's got to be some things got to be scheduled, right? I mean, I would think there need to be. So you couldn't just kind of walk on a just a open field and start this practice. So he kind of knew that he was going to do this regardless of the situation. And so why not tell the NFL? Why not let them know that? You know, if that was the case. Um, and then even at the end, which they showed, um, he didn't take any questions from the media, but he made a statement. Which in this statement, he basically you know, put it to the NFL and the owners and the coaches. Uh, he's going to be ready, he's going to stay ready, and he's always going to be ready. But he was just really defiant and really just kind of like, I don't know, just kind of to me it felt like it, it, it was, um, as they say, like a PR stunt. He really wasn't trying to, to really get back into the league and really trying to get show that he could still play. But maybe he was. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt of that. Let's just say that. Okay, so if that's the case, you know, again, my feeling is that if it's the NFL, I want to get back in the NFL, I don't necessarily have to bow down to him, but the same way, uh, you've got to show some kind of respect, and I don't feel like he showed that um, the respect that he should have in that situation, especially after three years. Um, I think it does prove to me that he wants to get back in the league, being that he spent three years still staying, you know, being ready, being fit, but I think on the, even on a whole another level, I think it's really, or he's really in a sense 
become the martyr of the movement that he was trying to um, promote since since he was kneeling down during the national anthem. I mean, I think that whole that whole story has kind of died down, but now we have this new story where it's just kind of like we're just trying to continue it on. And to me, it just kind of doesn't feel like um, like this was honest. Like this was an honest thing on either side. Let's be real. Um, so that's just kind of where I'm at with that. I don't know how you feel. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put a couple of the other news links and story links that I found on the story um, in the description box, so that you can follow um, maybe some of the stories that I that I saw that made me uh, want to talk about this on my vlog right now. But it's just crazy. It's just well, it's just crazy because I wanted to see Kaepernick get back in the league. You know what I'm saying? I think it would have been a really great story to see him go through all that, get back in the league, and you know actually do something. You know I think. For me, the workout was an opportunity for him to do that. You know, show that after three years, he still got the still got the skills, and he can lead a team, um, you know, to wins. You know, playoffs maybe, Super Bowl. Yeah, I don't know about that, but you know, but it would have been a great opportunity to see that happen. Um, and we, now I don't know if that's ever going to happen um, for Kaepernick. Um, NFL, they probably don't really care. They got enough um, on their plate already, but. I think it would have been a great story to kind of see that happen. So that's just kind of where I'm at. And it was an interesting story. I don't know if you like these kind of stories, you know, the hot topic of the day. Uh, maybe I'll do more of these later on, but it's just kind of been on my mind. You know, I've been listening to all the stories that, um, um, throughout the day today. And so it's just kind of like, I better just talk about this. So um, yeah, if you have your own opinion on it, definitely leave me a comment in the comment box below. Let me know how you feel. And like I said, I'll leave a couple links to some of the stories that I felt were, you know, spoken about pretty eloquently and um, really got down to the heart of the matter, maybe even better than I did. So, yeah, again, um, hope everyone's off to a positive and productive week. And, uh, yeah, like we always do this time, have a blessed day. See you on the flip side. Let's go.